guilty verdict on all three counts. And then people celebrate because this finally means justice has arrived in America. And then a 16 year old girl is shot and killed by a police officer. Here we go again. Welcome to Escaping the Echo Chamber. It's, yeah, it wasn't even, not even 24 hours. It's, in fact, it was happening while the verdict was being announced that this next police shooting went down and a police shot a girl who they claim had a knife. At this point, it's like, okay, Right now, of course, off the rip, I am skeptical. I'm like, this sounds like some bull. This sounds like some bull. But what I appreciate about this case is within hours, the police department got had the body cam footage released. Some of the body cam footage released within hours. So we don't have to sit and wonder, is this cop lying? And okay, if the girl had a knife, why couldn't he do use less restrictive, less lethal means to stop her from hurting him? Especially if she's a teenage girl and you know, he's a grown man. And then we see the video. After watching the body cam footage, see, before watching the body cam footage, I get the anger. I get the, and, and, and like I said, I was distrustful. I didn't trust the police. After seeing the footage, I'm like, wow, this is a different story. This is a complete, because he's not even trying to protect himself. He's trying to protect that other young lady. He's trying to protect. And I can't even say trying. Yeah. He very well could have saved the girl in the pink's life. She's pinned up against the car. Her, this other girl's arm is, 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 is cocked back. To do damage. But then some versions are being... You know, some versions of the story are coming out that the girl who was shot and killed by the police officer was the one who called 911. She was the one that was uh, afraid. She said some girls were trying to jump her. They had knives and they wanted to put. And OK, so if this is the case, if she's the one that called the police. When the police get there. It would seem, it would seem that that would be a good time to go to the police and say, help, help, you know, boom, like you're here. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank goodness you're here. You know, uh, I need, I need help. That's not what happened. People are jumping to conclusions on both sides. You have the Candace Owens of the world ridiculously calling this girl a crazed maniac you don't know what happened please shut the hell up you have other people calling this cop a murderer saying this is a straight murder watch the video and please stop with the reactionary foolishness stop being stop immediately retreating to your corners and just automatically even in the face of additional evidence. So I know something happens. You, we have to make quick judgments and quick analysis. 
but that doesn't mean we have to always operate under those on those analysis. So in this time, we, there's no rush for us. There's no reason for us to automatically say, oh, this is what's happening. We can have opinions. We can have theories. We can voice those theories, but make sure we acknowledge these are theories. And if new information comes forward, process it. Accept it, okay, just because I had to, like I said, originally my first thing is this is bullshit, that these cops, they, like they, this almost seems like, take that. That was my first thought. Then I saw the body cam, and I'm like, wow, okay, okay. But this is what I'm saying. Are, people have to be willing to process new information to process, process additional facts and information and say, okay, my initial thoughts were incorrect. That's growth. But right now, there are people on both sides who have no credibility, not an ounce of credibility because you're not acting rationally. You're not actually processing the information that you, additional information that's being provided and you're just going you're just immediately running with a narrative and it's like you, you have a narrative, you have a script and no matter what happens, you're going to read from the script. That's ridiculous. None of y'all are helping. None of y'all, like none of y'all are, are improving any situation. None of you are solving any problems. You are problems. You're becoming problems. You have been problems and you will continue to be problems until you start thinking, analyzing and actually using logic reason. I mean, we can feel. I, yes, I'm sad that this girl is dead. But at the same time, there could have been another girl dead. And if the cop didn't do anything, if he just stands there, is it, are the protests right now, oh, he just let that girl get killed. He didn't even do anything. Are those the protests? People, when are we going to start using some sense? And, and, and when I say people, I mean this entire United States of America, because this entire United States of America right now is descending further and further into this stupid, ridiculous, partisan tribe, tri tribalism. And it makes no sense. Like, like, oh, my team is, a, if this team goes that way, I automatically have to go the other way. I can't agree with that. Because they're the other team. I have to do this. I have to read the script. I have to follow this, this, this narrative. I have to follow the, the, this uh, pre-planned behavior, this response, this, this yes, yeah, like a, a macro. So it's, this little code, I have to perform exactly no matter what. Where's the thought? Where's the, oh, wow. This is a different case. This is a difficult case. Let's wait for some more information. I mean, in some cases, the information we get will be very illuminating. Okay, boom, boom, boom. I can make a, a pretty, and maybe there will still be additional information. But in this case, we see something different from what we may have originally thought. And I'm, and there's more. But th th that's the thing. There's more information coming out. And I really appreciate that the police department is being Revy, okay, here's, here's, here's footage, here's footage. We're, we're giving you as much as we can, um, or we're giving you a bunch of information because we don't want people jumping to the wrong conclusion. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. That's appreciated. And I'm glad that, like, I'm surprised. I've seen some people with nuanced takes that I didn't expect. I saw Brandon Tatum making some nuanced points that I didn't expect from Brandon T from Brandon Tatum. You you can see my last week, my, my my last couple. Of I'm not a fan of Brandon Tatum at all. I appreciate that. Okay, like I appreciate the nuance. Candace decided to go reactionary, and Candace is going for clicks. Candace is going for clips, clicks, outrage. She's trying to get retweeted. Like that, That's what Candace's objective is. Candace's objective is to be as ridiculous as, um, 
as just over the top so that that people will retweet her and argue with her and the the, the liberal media will carry her and, and and they love it because she's she's a poison to 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 thinking especially when it comes to thinking black conservatives she's she's a, like she like they just like not this board again because that that's what she is she's she's an embarrassment she's a a, a plague but let's get back to the issue and this case is drastically different from what we may have initially thought and please stop with the oh he should have sat her in the leg I mean, for real, stop getting your 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 facts from TV. The real world, that's not how cops are trained to shoot in the leg. What? And I I, I, I saw a use of force expert talk about that, how that, that's just a ridiculous notion. Please stop. Yeah, Joe Biden said that nonsense uh, some like last year. I think he said it. Yeah, cops should start shooting people in the leg. Like, no, like if the firearm has to come out, it's a deadly weapon. You only bring it out like you respect that it's a deadly weapon and you only bring it out in certain cases if it absolutely has to. But once you bring it out, once in those extreme circumstances that it must be brought out, you use it. Because if it's not necessary to use it, then don't bring it out. But like this, this situation was different and I'm so glad. So they've released the name of the officer as well. Nicholas Reardon. They said he's been on the force since 2019. But what's more important is that they released more body cam footage today. More body cam footage. Come sit in my car, please. Come sit in my car, okay? Come. Just come. Can you get my phone for my mama? Yeah, I'll get that later. Come sit in my car. Just stay right here. Just stay right here. 921, code 1, put me on the 3 and route. She just hit me. I just got here. Have a seat. I just pulled up here. Let's hurry up, please. This is urgent. Have a seat. Please. I'm going to have you sit in that car over there, okay? Yeah, I'll get it later. I need more cars. I need more cars. You are selfish son of a bitch, man, for shooting that girl. Ma'am, come with me. That was crazy. My phone is right there. My keys. I'll get it later. Let's go first. Shoot a girl. This ain't coming to you in your life. Oh, boy. She is fucking coming out here, man. She came out with, at you with a knife yes. earlier? No, she just, that's what the, that's what the police that, did. That lady she on the floor? After, she came after me. With a knife? Yeah, so she, so he got her. Can you please get my phone and stuff? Please, have a seat for me. Can have a seat for me. Phone? Yes, we'll get it. We'll get everything. Please, sir. Oh, Two hundred shot fired. Two hundred shot fired. Try to pull her so we can. Oh, 
200 acres. 200 acres. Hey, Where's she hit? Where's she hit? Is she breathing? She charged her, but she came at her with a knife. You didn't have to shoot her with a knife. That's a fucking girl. I mean, now she's getting her. I don't, I don't know if I, you feel policy to start compression. Do you know what I find interesting about the footage they released today? So apparently they may be giving, putting a, uh, a moratorium on actually publishing the footage and they, they allowed, um, you know, press to be there to see the footage and to hear the foot and the rest of us to hear the footage. But in hearing what was going on, this the, the story that I'm hearing sounds different. The story that I'm hearing from the body cam sounds very different from the story that's being pushed in the media or the, the claims that's being pushed in the media of, you know, OK, yeah, she was just defending herself. Because if you listen, it sounds like the girl, the first girl that fell to the floor, it sounds like she's saying, I didn't even do anything. Like, I don't even know why she came at me. Like, I don't even know why. Like, I just came here. I just got here. She texted me to come. I just came. Like, that's what it's sounding like. So now who's the she? I initially thought that the she that she's talking about is texting her, texted her to come here is one of her friends, like the girl in the pink or something. I don't know if that's the case. I don't know if, if the, the, the deceased girl is the one that texted her to come there. I don't know. We don't know. There's a lot we don't know. And acknowledging that is, is, is what is part of being a reasonable, rational person. What is interesting is the what appears to be a grown ass man who kicked the girl while she was down and then appears to be saying, my baby, my ba like, are you like, are you related to, 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 to Micaiah? Was that your daughter? Because if so, this dude is this dude is a problem because if you're there. Like, wh why was everything going down in the first place if you're there? If you're present, why was your, why was, if, if you're present and this is your daughter, why are, why was she in danger? If you're present and you're in relation to her, she's your friend, if she has, if she's something of importance to you, why is she in danger from what these two other girls? Because I'm not seeing other girls present at, at the scene. I'm not seeing other combatants. It seems to be her and these these other two girls. I don't know what the other people on the scene, what relation they have to, to the situation. But you definitely seem to be on Micaiah's side. And, and, and you tried to you were kicking this girl while she was down on the ground, which is ridiculous. And like, why, why is she, why does she, why does she need help from the police if you're there? So, like I said, I like that Boyce Watkins did his video talking about, sorry, he didn't do it. Uh, he did, he tweeted out, you know, that people, adults, let's handle the business. If we see kids fighting, we handle it. We don't need to call the police. We handle it. We squash it. We deal with it. Be adults. If you want to be leaders in your community, that's what we have to be. We have to be the leaders. Like, if we're not, if we don't like what the police are doing in our communities, let's keep them out of our communities by policing ourselves. Because there's some of us who operate on that timetable. We don't call police. We handle stuff ourselves. At the same point, once the police are on the scene, even if you're from a background that polices yourself, you ease up. 
You eat okay, cops. Okay, man. Be cool. Be cool. There's no need to be in engaging in stuff right in front of the, like why are you kicking this girl right in front of the police officer let's say she is the aggressor let's say her and the other girl are the aggressors and they're attacked let's say they're aggressors why are you why are you doing this stuff right in front of the police because now it's no longer just self-defense if she's on the ground and you're kicking her in the head with the police standing right there This other girl is unarmed, uh, holding the, 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 a puppy or a, li a little dog, and she rushes at her with, with the knife. Like, and if you're there, and these are the these are two other girls are the threat to her, like, why aren't why aren't you there to protect her? Like, it's almost as if it's almost as if you were you you were like monitoring the fight like you were egging her on and if that's the case that means your dumb ass got her killed cuz that's what it looks like that's what it looks like it looks like you egged this shit on and if if you're grow I, I don't know how old this dude he's got the hoodie on I can't tell but he scream oh well you didn't have to shoot her Wait, why didn't you do something? Why what why didn't you squash this? So there's a lot of information in that in in the new body cam. And it it it's it seems to be painting a story that's different than what is being claimed. And because right now it seems that the people that are claiming this, this particular story about these girls came to attack were were with Micaiah. And so it sounds like they were there. And if you're there, why does she need help from the police if you're there? Why aren't you providing the protection she needs? What exactly happened? Because it's it what what's what's being said, what's being claimed about Micaiah being in fear seems a lot different from the way everybody else, especially y'all, were operating. But I'm still seeing people in their corners and they're just like, like they don't want to, they don't want to acknowledge any new evidence and facts and information that that drastically changed the narrative of what happened and like like yo this is because i'm not going to sit here and blame this young girl especially if there's adults on the scene that are egging her on and then in that case we could be looking at a felony murder we could be if if that's what happens? This whole thing can flip. We could be looking at felony murder. If you're, if you had that girl, if you egged her on to assault those girls and she got killed, we could be looking at felony murder. But it pisses me off. It pisses me off because you, if you have adults at the scene who are supposed to know better. And are like actually who are actually the problem in the situation instead of being the ones to, to have the, the cooler heads because normally it's the old heads that have the, the cooler head and could calm the youngins down like yo yo y'all don't need to do this y'all need to stop this like I don't know if you remember, there's the 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 it was this I think it was like a viral Facebook video and the these two kids are fighting and the old head comes through and says, yo, yo, these are your friends. Look at them. They're they laughing. They enjoying you you going off uh, and, and you're fighting each other. They, they're getting entertained by your fighting. Now, if you really, if, if they were your friends, they would stop you. And the old kid, school's the kid. Says, these ain't your friends. You need friends that are actually going to look out for you and not have you out here uh, putting yourself at risk. But you, you can either hurt the guy real bad or get hurt real bad. But that that that's that's what that's what you're supposed to do. That's how we're supposed to be operating. 
We're supposed to be looking out for these young people. Not send them in harm's way. Not not send not send up fight clubs. And we don't know for a fact that this is what happened. I'm going, like I said, this is my preliminary take on the information I'm hearing and seeing on video. But it definitely sounds a lot different from what's being claimed. And to call the cop a murderer, it looks like he saved that girl's life. That girl in the pink, it looked like he saved her life. Please stop with the ridiculous rhetoric. Please stop with the reactionary rhetoric. Please stop just writing a script and just going with it regardless of facts, what actually happened. Be able to process new information and say, oh, wow, this is a different case. This isn't, this is not Amadou Diallo. This is not Breonna Taylor. This is not George Floyd. This is not a good thing. It's not a good thing that this young girl is dead. It's a horrible thing. But there was another young girl who may have gotten killed had the cop not intervened. And it's, it's interesting because somebody was posting um, like articles of like a, there was a recent stabbing. I think one was in, in Ohio. Um, 13 year old killed and stabbed another 13 year old girl. Yeah. Like, what, what are y'all doing? Stop. Don't have these kids out here killing each other. What? Some of y'all are in the way. Some of y'all are, are, are here, are messing up these young kids, destroying their lives. Stop it. Um, if you agree, hey, if you disagree with what I'm saying, feel free to give me a thumbs down. But if you give me a thumbs down, feel, make sure you comment in the section, comment section, why. I want to know which, which tribe... Because right now, both tribes uh, are, are probably going to hate me because I'm, I'm speaking rationally. Which, whatever tribe you are, give me the thumbs down and tell me which tribe you belong to and which reactionary rhetoric you're, you're running with. For the people that may not need, you don't have to agree with me, but the people that are stopping and like, okay, yeah, this case isn't just easy to tell. There's a lot of new information coming out. There's more information to come out. Let's be rational. Let's not just jump to a, a foregone conclusion because this is what I'm supposed to think. This is what I'm supposed to say. If that's how you feel, please feel free to give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe to the channel. And uh, thank you for watching this episode. I'll see you next time.